In this video, we are in Snowdonia National Park. After our canoe trip on the River Wye, we headed up to Snowdonia, which was one of my few times I've been here. It's absolutely stunning and we got some great weather to do some hiking and wild camps in the mountains. I hope you enjoy this video. Right, we are now in Bangor. Just got off the train and we're going to be starting the trail. Just having a quick toilet stop before we start and then we're going to head to the start point. It's not an official like, start point with a way mark and everything. So I hope you enjoy this video. So we're just in Bangor and today's stage is roughly six miles. So I cannot wait to get out of this busy sort of town. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling the need, the need for speed. <laughs> Not with him. Good old Welsh weather. Just put the waterproofs on and it stopped raining. But onwards and upwards. The heavens have now opened, fully waterproofed out, just stopped, got the bag covers on. Still pulling along this bar and just um, slogging along now. I probably won't film loads because of uh, my camera is going to get soaked. So I'll speak to you in a sec. So we're a bit wet, so we're a bit windy. Ooh, so the rain has stopped a little bit. We've just come off that main track, which I'm kind of glad about because it was getting a bit same old. And we're on a little country road now. Take me home. <laughs> um, just over this bridge, across this beautiful stream. Jakey's off singing now. <laughs> Oh man, he's got up now as well. <laughs> I want blood. <laughs> Staring us out. Just stop for a little bit and uh, Jakey's getting a bit thing about the cows. <laughs> right, the time is quarter past five and we've decided to set up camp here tonight. It's so pretty and um, near a water source, got a flat bit of ground that's soft. So we thought, why not? And it's out the way here. Right, it is really hammering it down now. So I'm gonna dive into my tent. But beautiful spot, just so wet. Got the tent up in time. So I've started drying out some of my stuff. I've got my insoles, my hat, my socks, and my waterproofs hanging up. Um, I'm just sorting out my stuff in here now, but it is tipping it down out there. What I'm going to do is, as I'm a melon, there's one of my insoles. As I'm a melon, I didn't fill up my water, my um, my little pot before I came in. 
in the stream so I want to keep as much fresh water as I can and boil this up for my dinner. It's so nice to be back on the trail and enjoying this sort of nomadic simple lifestyle. I've really missed it. Just this gives me such satisfaction drying out all my stuff and I'm getting serious Cape Raft Trail memories. Tonight on the menu, we've got pasta bolognese by Summit Tui. I think we're so lucky setting up when we did, because we left it later, we'd be setting up in this and be drenched. Especially trying to find somewhere to camp in this weather. I'm gonna open this up, see how long it takes. Less than 10 minutes and you just add water. Kushti. Have a look at that. That don't look too shabby, if it will actually focus on it. Cheers. So I've had my dinner, I've sorted out and Jake came over for a little bit and we chatted and looked through the route and sort of the rough idea of what we're going to be doing. We looked at the weather as well and the weather isn't looking good. Drops tonight as well, it gets pretty chilly, it's going to be about 3 degrees. So obviously it's warmed up recently so that's going to feel like a bit of a difference. Especially when it's been raining and everything's wet and damp and then it's three degrees. Like my shoes are sodden and my waterproofs but I've tried to dry everything out. Time is now ten past nine. I'm going to get my sleeping bag out, lay it out and get ready. I'm probably go to sleep soon. It's starting to get dark so go to sleep when it's dark, get up when it's getting light. Right, before we set off to Snowdonia, I did a little bit of research and was learning about places to go and places that were nice to visit and the trails there. Then I came across some of the crises and like climate crises and other things that are affecting Snowdonia National Park. Because everywhere is getting so touristy at the minute, it is definitely taking its toll on a lot of beautiful natural places. Statistics show that 600,000 people visited one area to climb a mountain. I won't begin to pronounce it. I think it's Yerwafada. That's the best pronunciation you're going to get from me. That is one of Britain's most popular mountains to climb and 600,000 people are going to that destination in a year. So you can think of the impact on that area. The temperature of Wales is one degree Celsius higher than it was a hundred years ago. So I'd like to thank Wren for sponsoring this video and I like working with them because they are giving some of it back to the planet and it is worthwhile. You get to see your carbon footprint and how much you're putting out and you can obviously offset that through Wren using the app. You can see different projects and support different things. There is a lot of projects up here in Scotland where I am now. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link in my description and the first 100 people will get 10 extra trees planted in your name. Thank you and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. So I've got company join me this morning. Morning! <laughs> for Brecky, we bought, um, what were they again? Uh, pan of chocolate and a chocolate croissant. But they're a bit flat now because we had them in our packs. Straight and, out of um, Ikea. And we got some coffees on the go as well. Look at that view, it's beautiful. You sleep well? Yeah, good. Uh, a bit wet this morning, but other than that, all groovy, man. Close your eyes, hear the voice within calling. This heavy load got under your skin. The white knuckles holding on a tie, keeping your feelings bottled up inside. Heading for a collision in the night. To really live, you gotta die. Breathe in, breathe out. Hey, come, come, come alive. Breathe in.
Right, we are back on the trail. Halfway bridge is there and we're just gonna go along the road towards the campsite. There he is. Jake's journey, mate. How's it going, Gartner? Hello. Great. Right. Me vlogging you all. Vlogging, vlogging. What's the quote of today, do you reckon? The quote of today so far is... <laughs> He's on the spot here. I reckon the mountains are calling. The mountains are calling? Yeah. Oh, I was trying to think of something ridiculous, you said. <laughs> um, the quote of the day was, Jay, that's Snowden over there. That's, uh, <laughs> that's it, Snowden it, over it there. Looks, it looks like a molehill. <laughs> <laughs> Plan today then, gonna walk into this town, Bethsida, or however you pronounce it. Definitely not how you pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> and then got some inclines coming out of it and just gonna head and find somewhere to camp pretty much. But it's really nice today, going through this little forest area with bluebells everywhere. Really pretty. Loads of slate in the background. Wonder why. It's called Snowdonia Slate Trail. <laughs> Got the old solars out. Give us a twin a spin. <laughs> what a day for it. A bit different to yesterday. Beautiful. Everything's drying out. My bag is a right mess at the minute. Got everything hanging off it trying to dry out. After a long day of walking, we have now reached the camp spot for tonight. And it's on this little island, which is so nice. Literally 360 mountains. One of them is Trafan, which Jake's actually climbed before. What are you saying? Stunning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, I'm buzzing with it, man. 360 nice. mountains. Gorgeous. Hasn't it been a lush day? Weather, yeah. weather wise, been so lucky. Been meant, considering yesterday it was just. <laughs> Rain, right rain, off, rain. Wasn't it? Yeah. A little soak of the old feet. Got a few hot spots going on. Well, if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to sit up next to JT. My tent is absolutely soaked. So hopefully this dries out. So with me I've got the Far Raven Abisco and I bought this time just like a foam mat. I normally bring a firmer rest just because it's like extra comfy and when your back's 
done in after a day's walk. It's nice to have a nice soft bed. But had this last night, it isn't too shabby. It just, I think you've got to be more picky with the ground you pitch on. I just wanted to say I've actually got a new pack for this trip not just for this trip but I actually needed one I think a lot of people have said and I've even said that the old bag I had was just a bit big um, I got a medium back and because I'm not the tallest of people I don't think it fitted me well so yeah it was just the straps were too big and it was just I had a mare with it so yeah new bag so this is a 65 litre Aura, which is actually the same as my other pack, but it's just been modded, new designs. It's a lighter bag and it's got a different mesh system. Jake's journey mate's just unpacking, leaving his kit everywhere on my tent. Oy, that's not true. What we got on dinner today? Dinner, that he's getting a bit hungry. Thinking bit, about the bit angry. already. Ooh. What are you having today? All right, let's do this. Bloody hell. Meals. So we both got um, a ton of meals from base camp food. We ordered them before coming. We've got... Look at that, that's just satisfying to all them meals. Expedition foods, we've got summit to eat, we've got real termite, we've got fire pot foods. Bit of yeah. everything. And adventure foods, put their cacks on. I love how you put them the... last. <laughs> yeah. I'm having them on the earlier nights just so I can get them out of the way. You're having that one tonight? That's yeah, actually really do. nice, that rice satay. Sat bay. Sat bay. Sat bay. Sat bay. Sat bay. As my tent is so wet, we um, bought these. They're such a shout. I'm just going to wipe the floor down. If you can see, it's so wet in here. So I'm just going to try wipe the floor and the roof. It's just where I pack it away wet, and I think where the, the outside's really wet, it just gets the inside soaked. There is not a better feeling than when your tent's set up, all your stuff's out, drying out, your feet are airing out, and your water for your meal is on. Are you talking to me or the camera? I'm talking to the camera. Oh, my God. <laughs> Question for the comments. How many times has anyone left one of these in their um, freeze dried meal? Chicken fried rice tonight. It's got 498 calories. Well, per 100, and it's just over 100. So we're looking decent on that. dinner mad that mountain rescue come through they weren't here long nice cup of tea to finish the day off and uh, Jakey's in his bivy bag <laughs> the little melon spilt tea over it a minute ago so we're on our second brew of the night <laughs> it's been a beautiful day absolutely stunning just getting ready I've had brushed my teeth made my overnight oats I'll show you tomorrow got a bit of water and yeah getting ready to hit the sack hit the hay like I said, it's been a beautiful day, absolutely blessed with the weather and the route's been fab. I hope the people over there involved with the mountain rescue are okay and um, safe, safe and sound. After such a beautiful micro adventure, it had sadly come to an end. Waking up at this stunning location was such a blessing and to have such nice weather. Definitely will be visiting Snowdonia again soon and doing some more hikes and things around the area. And maybe continuing the Snowdonia Slate Trail and making that a through hike. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you to all my patrons for making this possible. 
Take care.